Hi, welcome to the Air Manager API tutorial video series. I'd like to start this uh, very first video by introducing uh, the Air Manager development interface and the other basic tools used uh, in instrument development. So we'll start um, just by sort of demonstrating the um, the development interface within uh, Air Manager, and and this is uh, predominantly the um, using the uh, create uh, edit tab along the top of the uh, the Air Manager um, window here. Uh, and when you're on the create edit tab, this is a list of all of your uh, instruments. So you're probably familiar with this in terms of um, a, a list of the instruments that you can download. Um, from the um, Sim Innovation Store, or you can develop your own instruments and um, see them appear in this list here, and then select the individual instruments for use in um, uh, the Panels tab uh, right here for, to create a complete uh, aircraft instrument panel. So within the Create Edit tab, um, there's a there's a few self-explanatory uh, icons across the top here, and and as we go through the video series, you'll see. Uh, me refer to these uh, for various uh, functions along the way but there'll, there'll be some common ones that we'll use pretty much all, all the time uh, and so you'll get used to uh, the, what they're for and the use uses uh, of the various uh, icons so we're going to start um, by um, clicking on this one over here on the right uh, which is a link to the API which is essentially what this video series is is um, to show um, examples of the API functions and how to use them in your instrument code to create some of the functions. So we're going to start off with the basics uh, that are on the Sim Innovations wiki and then we're going to uh, just stretch that a little bit and, and show some uh, some different things in ways to use them and then perhaps maybe that might even flow into another video series where uh, we develop a complete gauge or we do some more advanced um, tutorial uh, functions using um, the API uh, functions for, for various things depending on what the uh, community wants to see. So we'll start with the API. When you click on that button uh, at the top of the Air Manager program, it, it will open a, you see I've, I've already opened that once, so I've got two open there, so we'll just close that. Um, it opens um, a, um, a link to the um, Sim Innovations wiki site and it takes you straight to the uh, Instrument Logic API page of which um, you can click on any of these items here and it will jump you down. It's one big long page full of API functions uh, and obviously as you click on the individual functions there's further uh, pages beyond that with the examples of uh, the various uh, bits and codes. So this is this is really what you want. This is the this is the page. It's easy to get to. So you click that uh, icon within Air Manager, and it brings you here. And this uh, gives you the um, list of all the API functions and how to use them. Uh, there are lots of examples for each of these um, API functions uh, on the uh, wiki. So for just as an example, we'll click this first one here. Then explain data ref subscribe, and you can see. Um, it explains the syntax of the command there, the various arguments that you need to fill in as part of the command, and then some examples for the different um, um, uses of the gauge. This one has three examples. Some are more basic than that, um, depending on uh, what the API function does. But we're going to go into a little bit more detail. We're going to um, use these functions from the wiki, and we'll expand on them um, just to show you um, what all the different functions and arguments do within each API function so you can use the video series as a way of referencing back if you've forgotten um, or don't quite understand what's written on the wiki in terms of how they're used. So we'll close that off for now but that's just worth pointing out that um, obviously that API page is a, is a great resource um, for um, gaining information about the API functions. One of the other things you'll need um, to do instrument coding is you'll need a code editor or I mean you can simply use a, te a text editor if you want to but it's easier to use uh, a code editor of some sort because it can highlight the, the, the different aspects of the code for you and there's some other useful features um, that are on 
you know enable the the code development in terms of making the code easier to read one of the common ones that a lot of users are using uh, on the forum is notepad plus um, plus that's a very uh, a good um, tool I personally don't use that one I use uh, Komodo edit I um, I'm on Windows at the moment, as you can probably tell here, but um, I also have a Mac and I started out uh, life uh, on Air Manager um, using it on the Mac and I still do use the Mac and Komodo Edit was my tool that I used to develop with before uh, Air Manager and uh, I just got used to using it and so that's what I use uh, for development, but you're free to use whatever you want. Essentially, it's just a, a, a basic uh, code editor uh, uh, and if it can handle the Lua language, then... Um, great because um, you know you can highlight the various uh, um, functions or commands and they will come up in different colors and you'll see as we go through how much easier that makes uh, the code development so I'll just go ahead and open um, my Komodo here and you can see um, just sort of um, how it colors different things and uh, in different colors depending on uh, what they are that's not a very good example but you can see um, as we go along the different elements of the code will be highlighted and colored I've tried to make that a little bit bigger as well that text there so hopefully it'll show up okay on the video um, so you can see what's um, what's happening with the code that we use um, one of the other things you're going to need, which is not really part of this video series, but it's worth mentioning, is uh, for gauge development, of course, um, you're going to need some kind of graphics editor. So obviously the common one um, being Photoshop. Um, again, I differ from that slightly. I use a program called GIMP um, for a lot of my graphic uh, editing work. Um, to develop the gauges but of course Air Manager now has some other uh, useful functions using Canvas uh, drawing so um, you don't have to do all functions using um, graphics uh, PNGs uh, predominantly are what we what we use for Air Manager uh, to develop what those graphics for all the different elements uh, of a gauge and you'll see how you can load those different uh, images and use them uh, Air Manager um, API to manipulate those images to get sort of needles to rotate and barrels to roll and various other functions uh, on an aircraft instrument. So that uh, kind of concludes this introduction. Um, in the next video um, we'll get into um, actually some coding uh, and start looking at the different API functions in order and showing some examples of how to use them.